The X-Files is one of my personal all-time favorite shows. And, of course, I was excited when I heard it was coming back. I was even more excited when the creator of the show, Chris Carter, invited me to be a, a part of it. Like old times, huh? If we're lucky. Oh my God. The government's been hiding this the whole time. I knew we'd find it. We just have to keep looking. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Dark in here. Wow, what a dump. Is this what I think it is? Gross. Who are you? Mm. I'm Agent Keith. I'm your new partner. They figured since you guys have been away for a while, you might need some help getting back into the swing of things. I'm sorry, but we've been doing this for a long time. I'm gonna call Skinner. Mm -hmm. No, damn it. Here. No thing. Is there a payphone here? Use this. What is that, a game boy? It's a smartphone. You use it to call or um, text, GPS, Snapchat, Tinder, whatever. We can't let them trace us here. I had 18 months before I can upgrade that. What's wrong with you? People can find anybody anywhere all the time now. Have you ever heard of the internet? The, the internet. <sighs> They're not gonna shut us down this time. The whole world is gonna know. Hey, maybe it needs a, a floppy to boot up. Alder, put the floppy down. Put it down. This isn't the 90s anymore. We've moved on. Why? It was Why? a great decade. Why would we do that? Yeah, it was a great decade. Great music. Hootie. The Blowfish. Beanie Babies. Pogs. Everybody loves Pogs. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. We've moved on. Well, do people still like us? You guys? Oh, yeah, of course. We loved you then, and we love you now. Oh. And even if coming back turns out to be a bad idea, like a really, really bad idea that makes everyone hate you, <laughs> we'll still always have the 90s. <laughs> also, you two should have sex. <laughs> you should. It's been like 23 years. Everybody knows. Just what? No, what? that's not what. No. It is what. And it's time to do it already. Okay? <laughs> Guys, maybe have sex later. <laughs> Fuck, Keith. Years ago, our first guests tonight formed the classic TV duo Mulder and Scully and ignited a sci-fi sexual tension the likes of with had not been seen since Kirk met Spock. The X-Files returns to Fox Sunday, January 24th. Please welcome David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. <laughs> How 
exciting for the two of you to finally to be able to act with me. I mean, really, it must be a... I've been looking forward to it all my life. ...bucket list kind of moment. It was a bucket <laughs> list, yeah. By the way, uh, one thing that yeah. did not appear in that thing, in thing we shot today is you're, you had a red wig on and it came off during the sex scene. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't realize, David, that you had a wig on. I had no, I didn't you, realize. You didn't, no. you didn't know I had a wig on? <laughs> I didn't know. You just thought I had this big Frankensteinian head? <laughs> and then maybe you grew it out and had it for, I didn't, actually didn't even realize you had a wig on. What and, the? F I don't, I didn't realize I'm wearing a wig right now. So, yeah, no, I really didn't realize. Do you have an it. outtake from the whole repositioning It was the so wig? dark, we really couldn't see it, oh, unfortunately. Right. Yeah, but it looked like my head was falling off. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny. Did you always wear a wig? No, or? I used to be red. Okay. Or, you, yeah. Was your hair naturally red, or you dyed it for dyed the part? Dyed it for the part. Okay. Is, and it, you? is this an infomercial? <laughs> <laughs> it could segue uh, into that, yeah, possibly. Uh, me, I, I don't believe I ever wore a wig, and I've never been red. I <laughs> never been red, I don't huh? I think I've ever been red. I think that would be yeah. a very cute color Don't for point you. Down there. Did you know each other when you <laughs> when you started on the show? Had you known each other previously at, at all? Had you met? Before never. The no, we, we met no. in the in the the ante room before going into read. You, you don't like that word? Ante room. <laughs> Foyer. <laughs> Hallway. Lobby. Hallway. We met in a ha Sorry. hallway. I've never heard ante room. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. Never. I don't know that one yet. I don't know where it's the okay. hell that came it's okay. from. <laughs> Maybe your aunt. Can we start over? Yeah. Well, yeah. We met in the ante room, and uh, we were there, and uh, I think one of us asked the other to just run the lines, and then... You asked me if I wanted to run the lines. Okay. Did okay. you sense at that time that you had some kind of a chemistry? No. no. You did not. No. no. <laughs> did anything strange happen at the audition? In the ante room? Was it standard... Uh, in the, after the ante room? Yes. Uh, in the audition? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, nothing happened. Who did you audition for? Chris Carter? Uh, I, uh, Fox Mulder. Was well... <laughs> <laughs> You know damn well what I meant. <laughs> it's a <laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny room, and there are like 50 oh. network people. Well, the, 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 the ante room is huge. <laughs> right. But the room the, that we auditioned in is the, teeny, the room, teeny. And it's uh -huh. all the Fox suits are there. Yeah. Oh. All in, and, and, and they're on chairs like two feet away from us doing and, these things. And they want to hate you. They just yeah. want to, they, they, they want to hate you. And yeah. they, they did they hate, did. they hate most they of us. They hated me mostly. Well, did they really hate you? They didn't oh, hate, yeah. No, they didn't hate you. Lane. But they hired you, so they must have liked you. Well, they hired you. me. They hired me because I think Chris um, pressured them a bit into hiring me. They, they they didn't want me to be cast. And then they the next time I was called back for network, they had flown in all these other actresses that I had been used to auditioning with in New York. And I refused Peter to read actresses. with them. I refused to read with Is them. Is that right? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but women, women that I knew, women that I knew who were suddenly now obviously I wasn't good enough and. So, oh, that's, yeah, that's it. Boy, it really is tough, this whole thing, isn't yeah. it? And is it's it my brutal. imagination, or did you guys, while you were shooting the show, I was, because uh, today, I have to say, I was very surprised at how friendly you guys were and are, because I was under the impression that you guys, like, didn't like each other when you were shooting You mean friendly the show. to each other? Yeah, friendly to, very friendly to each other. Like, <laughs> well, you oh, made us, like, have sex. Well, even, <laughs> I'm talking about off-camera. don't off usually camera. do that every show. That there, was a very, there was a lot of camaraderie there, it there seemed is. like. Mm -hmm. it was it always mm -hmm. like that? No. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no. Okay, so that, I do remember that correctly. There was some, like, rough patches. Issues. Sure. Yeah. yeah. What kind of, like, what would you guys, what was it <laughs> that, like, if you had to pick one thing, was it, like, taking a long time to get ready? Was it... Did you do something that I didn't... David and his anti-room nonsense that he keeps saying? <laughs> uh, what, what was it that, that rubbed you the wrong way about each other? Well, I, 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 I wondered this for a long time, and um, I think part of it, you know, what, what we shot in Vancouver, and it's very moist in Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> With the humidity? <laughs> Was it chafing? <laughs> it's, very, it's very moist in the ante room. <laughs> See what I mean, though? These are people that get along. These are two people that I'm looking at right here. Oh uh, go God. on. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, I, when my hair gets... Your face is getting... <laughs> <laughs> Your face okay. is now redder than I your know. hair. I know. Yeah. Sorry. 
Let me just say, I have no idea where it's going. <laughs> I don't either. And it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's, right. We're on a ride here. I'm so here. sorry. No, no, no. I just got to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I, okay. I, I would finish the story I'm if I had any idea what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. Okay. I can't do it. I feel like we've really hit on something. This is wonderful. This is like, <laughs> no, I feel like I, Dr. Phil right what, now. It was all my fault, David. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell went oh. on between you two? I mean... Um, I would, uh, you know, I know it's gone on for a while, but I would like to know where the moistness uh, was emanated okay. from. Yeah, where did the moistness come from? No, Is that just very, the air? It's very, yes. Mm -hmm. And so my hair gets very frizzy. Yeah. And That's so, what it was? <laughs> it takes forever. Every, between every oh. single take, they don't, we'd have to stand there and blow dry my hair again, and things take a and long that, and time. And I got, I got pissed at that? Well, I think it added to the tension of the fact that I took so long to, you know... Is that anything to do with it? I, it kind of makes me sound like an a <laughs> <laughs> Well, why don't we take a break and regroup? And uh, when we come back, we got Mulder and Scully here, Jillian Anderson and Dave Duchovny. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hitchhiked. Relax, Scully. I'm kidding. I just worry about you, Mulder. Not to worry, Doc. I'm taking good care of myself. It's good for you to get out of that little house every once in a while. It certainly was good for you. I'm always happy to see you. And I'm always happy to find a reason. That is Jillian Anderson and David Duchovny in the X-Files. Yeah. It's not a win. You cut, you, you, cut, you cut the clip a little short, because after that, I say, you frizzy-haired bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was it to put this all together again? Was it your idea? Or was it, the, was it your idea? It, well, it, it was my idea, but I think I had it like 12 years ago, and nobody listened. <laughs> But what, what, who was it, your ideas? It was probably Chris, Chris and me and then Jillian, and then, you know, we just had to make it sure. It wasn't my idea. Yeah, it was, wasn't Jillian's idea, but we just had to make sure everybody was on board and could do it at the, at the same time. Was it strange getting back into those characters? Was it easy? It wasn't as easy as I expected it to be. Really? Yeah. Why? I think because I've been working really hard to, to get away from her as much as possible, and uh -huh. so I think it, it took me a while to find her again. And also, I was... I was trying to find the old version of her, not the the aged version of her. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to think about right. that because yeah. you're not yes. in the same place that they were when no. you left them. No. Yeah. No, yeah. We're, These we're... are the important things that actors have to think about because no one does at home. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you discover that today during the... I uh... discovered it right this moment, right. actually, yeah. Well, well, you didn't know we were wearing wigs or anything. <laughs> I don't... I, I would not make a good FBI agent for yeah. real. Let's just put it yeah. that way. Uh, observant is not among my best qualities. Right. But That's it was okay. a lot of fun because I really love the show. I mean, and I, I'm, I am very excited that you guys are back. I wish it was more than six episodes. I wish it was like a whole thing all, all the time. Why is the show going to be on at 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. Is that because of the football game? Did you know is that? It, is that true? Yeah, that is true. Yeah. You're asking that? <laughs> okay. like... uh, probably the football. I, I, that would be my guess. Okay, so we're going to guess football. <laughs> One of the many mysteries. Yeah, maybe yeah. we should have done the pre interview. Is it going to be. Um... <laughs> will, we have... <laughs> will we have monsters on the. On the show? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, you will? Okay, oh, yeah. good. Yes. You're going to do yeah. that kind of Monster of the Week thing that used to happen? Because I love that. I love that A stuff. few times. we got a couple Monsters of the Week, right? We do. we got Monsters are of the Week. Are you asking me, or are you, you know? You know, no, you know, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. A, yes, we, we do. I'm couple. agreeing with you. We got a couple, and then we got a couple of the mythology. Uh -huh. uh, uh, what was your favorite of all the, of the monsters, and which one was your, was your least favorite? Like, of, of, the whole, of all time? Yeah, of all time. Yeah. Um, well, I liked uh, the Pooh Man. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's yeah. my least favorite. That was cool. <laughs> well, you forgot that he was he, your least favorite? Yeah, he, he, the Pooh Man. And yeah. I will... Uh, that's, I, that's your least favorite? Well, yes, because uh, our, our, our Michael Watkins, who was directing it, he, he had told me 
Because we had never seen him, right? Do you know the story? Are you la you're laughing already, which I love. It's fantastic. <laughs> I feel like I don't have to even finish. But, but uh, he said, uh, you know, it's going to be, it's horrific, this thing. It's, it's made up of all everybody's repressed desires and things that they can't face. And it's, it's taken the form of all, in the sewer of all the, the poo. And it's, and, it's, and it's mean and it wants to... He keep... didn't give me that note right. about the monster. Well, he gave me something else entirely. Well, no. And then, and then we had to, the guy, the poo man wasn't ready because he was still in makeup, right? Because <laughs> So we had to react to a bunch of tennis balls on a stand. And he was saying, it's, it's, it's worse than that. It's worse, it's worse, it's worse. And, and Jillian and I are going, like, yeah. We're, we're, I mean, we're, but it's embarrassing because it's tennis balls. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then the guy comes out, and it's not my line, and you'll have to bleep me. But <clears throat> the director came up and said, I apologize, because he doesn't look very scary. He looks like the guy who <laughs> Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> That would be Mr. Butterworth, yeah. I guess, yeah. <laughs> what would that look like? Well, you know, she's the maple syrup bottle. Yeah. I know that, but... So he looked like a big maple syrup bottle. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are back together. <laughs> what? We don't know what time the show is going to be on or why, but we think it's on <laughs> at 10 o'clock on the East Coast right. and 7 o'clock Pacific, Sunday, January 24th on Fox. David Duchovny and Jillian Anderson, thank you for being here. The X-Files, we are back with Jacob Strombley.